welcome to another one of my vintage i5 videos. Today I'm talking about soft start boards. Is it worth installing one in your amplifier or receiver? You may have noticed when turning on your amplifier receiver that you get a sudden thud going through the speakers, depending on how your on off switch is actually uh, set up on the uh, unit. And what typically happens is when you first turn on your amplifier receiver, the transformer draws a lot of current to it, built to the uh, electric field builds up inside the core of the transformer then the uh, resistance goes up and the current goes down and this puts a great strain on the transformer itself and also the diodes and capacitors early on in the circuit can be affected by this as it draws this current um, so yeah really if you've got an old uh, amplifier and it's really hard to find a transformer or some parts for it you may consider putting one of these in there because what this will actually do is limit the current going in there and it slowly build it up to full current. When I say slowly, it probably happens only over a second or two seconds, but that's enough not to get that sudden surge that will, well, could damage your uh, transformer and some other components in the unit. I mean, it, it, it does happen, but it's, it's not, you know, not common, common, but uh, it does happen, especially if you started going on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off fast on your uh, amplifier receiver, that could cause some serious damage so definitely don't do that it's just a normal one off and that's it so yeah you can install like I say install this balls they do do external ones now these ones here the internal ones are about 14 pound 15 dollars somewhere around there they do do external ones a plug socket they, there's not many of them about I must admit I've been looking uh, they're about 150 pounds 175 dollars somewhere around there you can get hold of so it saves you putting this inside your unit where you can just have an adapter that plugs into the wall and you're amplifier receiver plugs into that so it's going to be a lot easier more convenient for a lot of people if they're thinking about getting one but an internal one you can do yourself I'm going to stick a diagram up now whereabouts it goes and as you can see the top diagram shows you a normal circuit what's happening inside your amplifier the mains coming into the switch and the switch the on off switch to the fuse the fuse to the transformer and the bottom diagram shows the uh, mains coming into the switch switch then goes to the uh, soft start board and the soft start board then goes to the fuse and out to the uh, transformer so yeah it's um like i say it's uh, something maybe to think about something you may not come across or heard about uh one problem with these is actually fitting it in finding a space inside your amplifier receiver to put the board uh, i've just got an mp i'm doing a bit of work on at the moment it's, i'll tell you what i've done a test yesterday of 10 or 10 amp stroke tuners uh, sorry stroke receivers a mixture of each so i'll go through them i'll give them a listen and see um you know, what kind of difference there is between them all and this one here was, oh, it sounded terrible so something's wrong there somewhere um i'm going to look at the preamp to start off with uh, it just sounded terrible i mean this is um sansui au 2900 i'm not too sure what the write-ups are but uh, yeah, I'm sure it's nowhere near as bad as this sounded, so it was a little project for me to, to do, amongst a few other things I'm doing at the same time here at the moment. But anyway, it's like I say, it's finding a space to put the board uh, in this amplifier. If I wanted to put it in this amplifier, the ideal space would actually be, if you can see that, a bit clumsy there, it the, would be on the side mount in there probably, would be a space to put it. Um, yeah, other than that, it would be overhanging or it, it just wouldn't be... So to get a fixing on there would maybe mean to stick something in there, maybe drill an hole to fit it in a little bracket in there or something to hold it in place. Now, once fitting this item, like I say, once you turn it on, it will reduce the current drawn, like I say, over that one or two second period. It will gradually build it up, obviously quite fast, but nowhere near as fast as the sudden on, um, and that will protect it. What I wouldn't do, like I say, is keep turning it on and off, on and off and off, because the... Uh, Current's getting uh, reduced by these resistors here that are reducing the current. If you keep turning it on and off, on and off, on and off, it will make these get quite warm and could actually uh, damage the circuit here. So it's something not to do. Uh, fine, just a normal one and off is fine. These are rated about, this one in particular one's rated at 1,000 watts. So um, yeah, it's quite an hefty amplifier would uh, draw 1,000 watts. So yeah, for something like this, I think this probably draws oh, a rough guess, 150, 200 watts would have thought it draws. So yeah, well within uh, the spec of this one. This is a 2000 watt one. It's a slightly bigger one, as you can see. Got a few bigger parts on there. Um, 
Yeah, but, but this, this is slightly different to the other one because it's got the input and the output of the mains, but also got a switch. You could actually just use a switch on here, the on-off switch on here, and just wire is slightly different. But easier way probably would be just to short out the switch part so it wire up exactly the same as I'm showing you in that diagram earlier on as this one. So that's the only slight difference to them. One's a point two thousand, which is this one. This is a one thousand. They're, they're both pretty much the same price. There's both about fourteen pound, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen dollars somewhere around there. So yeah, just a maybe an idea. Maybe something you've never heard of before. Maybe you something you may want to look up. Is it worth you doing? Um, if you can do it yourself, or if you get someone to do it, is it, is it worth the bother? Um, yeah, I'm, I'll probably may fit one to. Uh, one or two of my uh, amplifiers or snake snake or think that maybe you are to get parts for or whatever uh, as long as there's space inside to do it if not obviously um, I won't bother but um, yeah just just saying you know something you may not have heard of there I thought would bring to your attention there is it worth picking up one of these soft start boards and uh, what it exactly it does okay um, yeah I've got a few more videos in the pipeline coming up like I said I've got that sensory uh, receiver that I've actually uh, Re-vinyl now. I took the old vinyl off and put a new vinyl on, so I'll show you that. It's not going to be much of a video because I did actually go through it. I just kind of showed a few pictures of me taking it off and just relayed another vinyl on top, and it didn't come out too bad for a first effort. Next time I do it slightly different, I think. Um, and a few other ideas coming up as well. You may not have heard of or seen, or you know, it's been about, but not much of it about on the internet that um, I'll bring to your attention. Maybe uh, a great channel to watch is Stereo Review X. Now this bloke's got the ear for it. I've not really got the ear for this music. I mean, I, I can hear some differences, but I think you know a well-trained ear this bloke's got. So if you've really got a trained ear, this is the bloke to uh, to watch definitely. Some great reviews on uh, some vintage stuff he's got there. Okay, I uh, say thank you for watching, and I'll see you all soon.